What's going on guys, Cecil here. Welcome to Assassin's Creed. No, I'm just kidding. I just thought about Ezio because of that person in front of me. Uh, by the way, Omen looks exactly like Ezio Alditore. Like seriously. Anyways, welcome to Valorant. Today I will show you how to B-hop in this game. If you don't know what B-hop is, it's basically bunny hop. It's not that jump at all. That's a, that's just a regular jump. I'm talking about bunny hopping, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know what bunny hop is, it's basically something like this. <laughs> You got that, didn't you? It's jumping like a bunny, you know? A bunny jumps all over a place. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Jumping like a bunny in this game. Well, if you guys remember in Counter-Strike when you jumped all over a place, uh, it actually gave you a little bit of an advantage. It makes you harder to hit. It makes you faster, by the way, in this game. Bunny hopping, uh, bunny hopping does not exactly make you faster, but it makes you a harder target. And without further ado, let's get right into showing you how to bunny hop in this game. So uh, yeah, let's get right to it. So to practice bunny hopping, what you want to do is to go to play and then go to practice. Go to open range and click enter range. That's the best place to, uh, you know, practice bunny hopping. I'm gonna play with Sage because I fucking love that character and yeah, let's go. So in order for you to start bunny hopping, there are some tips that you need to understand. First of all, uh, without a weapon, you know, you need to use a knife because the knife is gonna make you walk faster uh, than with a weapon as you can see right here I'm with a weapon and I'm slow as fuck it's like a turtle but with a knife holy shit now I'm a rabbit you know so a uh, weapon a turtle a knife all a rabbit you know so so, so it, the, the, the knife is the best thing ever you know what I'm saying it makes you fast as fuck fast as fuck boy now let's start with the basics all right so the first thing you want to do is uh, to learn that W makes you walk forward yeah hooray W walks forward that, that's the first thing you ever need to do or for you to bunny hop so yeah I, I'm going for the very 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 basic, you know what I'm saying? Now let's get serious a little bit. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna tell you something. Bunny hopping with spacebar is awful. I mean, it's possible, you know what I'm saying? It's possible, but it's awful, and it's it's kind of hard to time it right. And the reason for that being is because the spacebar only sends one signal into the game. So you need to time it perfectly in order for you to make the bunny hop successfully. It actually could work, you know what I'm saying? But, but a spacebar is not a good idea. What is a good idea is to go to controls and then go to movements and go to jump and make the jump to wheel up or wheel down whatever suits you in my opinion wheel down is the best you know i mean i i am used to wheel down more than any other thing now obviously if you go to wheel down it's gonna make a little bit of a mess in equipment so just go there and make any other uh, any other button it doesn't matter i'm gonna make it a thumb mouse so yeah basically uh make the movement you have to make the mouse wheel down is the thing that you jump with and leave the space bar you know what i'm saying i mean don't mess with the space bar because you know space bar is that default thing to jump with so you'll do it automatically sometimes but why did i use wheel down or wheel up well the reason for that being is that wheel down and wheel up you know so i mean i use wheel down because i'm more used to it but you can do whatever you want wheel down or wheel up the reason for that is because when you wheel down or wheel up or whatever it sends a bunch of signals you know every single fucking wheel you do every single tick 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 you know what i'm saying they all send signals so you don't exactly have to time it perfectly when you land on the ground for the bunny hopping to happen you know what I'm saying? in the space i'm using the space bar right now and the space bar you need to time it perfectly so that the jump will occur exactly for you to be hop successfully and that will it, it's impossible to be completely honest with you it, it, it is kind of possible but it's impossible you know what I'm saying you need to time it perfectly when you hit the ground but with the wheel up or the wheel down you don't exactly need to time it perfectly you know what I'm saying? you can just do it right before and it will be just fine so that's the that's why it's better to use wheel up or down or right, there's something i want to do actually basically like to me it was better to actually use wheel uh down but uh it is more common to actually use wheel up you know so i mean the thing is the wheel up is kind of easier for a lot of people to use instead of wheel down so i'm gonna use wheel up so i don't you know i don't say it a randomly mistake but in, in all cases you know what I'm saying wheel up or wheel down both will work just fine as you got that part figured out so if you use space bar you're going to be slow because it, it's actually kind of hard but if you use wheel up or down it's gonna be so simpler and so much better for you to do now that's not exactly b hopping there's still more into it b hopping is not just jumping in a straight line like that because jumping in a straight line is not really doing much of an uh, you know much of an illusion to your enemy you're just jumping in a straight line now you need to do more into it if you want to fool your enemy and the actual b hopping is to jump right and left that's what b hopping is so what you do to jump in a straight line you just go straight and then keep wheeling up all over a place and it will just work just fine that's what you know b hopping in a straight line is but in, in order for you to do it right and left here's what you need to do you need to press the w button all right so press the w button to walk forward and then wheel up and then go to the okay okay i can't exactly explain it in i'm gonna explain it in details and then do it to you so basically what you do okay hold on here's what here's what it looks like so here right there and that's it 
that's uh, B hopping once to the right. Now, how you do that? Obviously, we'll need to do it a bunch of times after each other. We're gonna get into that later. But now I'm just telling you how to do it once. All right. So basically, what you do, you press the W button. All right, and then you wheel up and then remove your you remove your finger from the W button. Go to the D button, which is the right, and move your mouse cursor a little bit to the right while moving the D button. So you're gonna go right in both directions. You know, you're gonna go right in the arrows, which is the D button, and gonna and go right with the cursor which is the mouse you, you understand me now removing your finger from the w button is optional you don't have to do that if you don't want to you know it's your choice whether you want to remove your uh, finger or not but removing the finger is gonna make it make it kind of better but you cannot remove it if you want like for example this is me doing it without removing the finger and this is me doing it while removing the finger so basically they're both the same exact thing so it doesn't really matter now to the left same exact thing but the uh, whole difference is that you change the direction from right to the left in both the arrows and the mouse cursor let's try to do a full one right now so yeah go right left right left right left yeah that, that's what that was a bunch of times there we go all right let's do it one more time so basically yeah go right left right left right Left, there we go it's actually so simple and easy and then there we go that's what you gotta do all right guys so here's the keyboard maybe you'll understand it easier if i show you with the keyboard in front of me so basically what you do is you press the w button to move forward all right and then move the cursor up which is the thing you jump and while you move the cursor up remove your finger from the w button go to the d button and click on it while at the same time moving the mouse into the right and after that move the mouse wheel up again right before you hit the ground and then click on the w uh, click on the w button again remove it and then click on the a button that goes to the left and then move the mouse into the left while you're at it and that's basically it so again you click the w button to move forward all right and then you wheel up and then remove your finger from the w button click on d while moving the mouse into the left uh, to the right and then right before you hit the ground wheel up again while clicking w button and then remove your finger from the w button click on a while moving your mouse into the left and repeat w button again and then wheel up and so on so it's so simple actually you just need some practice all right guys since i think that i wasn't explaining it clearly before while i was doing it live or while i was on that virtual keyboard then i think the best way to explain it clearly is by using a video where i can simply run it and then pause it at any time and talk at any point that's the best choice right there anyways let's go so basically that's a video so basically yeah uh, right here we're walking okay hold on right here we're walking forward now we are in the middle of the jump so basically we just wheeled up and jump in the middle of the jump all right we move our finger away from the w button click on the d button which is the right on the keyboard and at the same time we move the mouse into the right while we're doing it until we reach the ground then at this point we wheel up while clicking on the w button all right right here and at this point we move our finger away from the w button press on the a which is the left uh, arrow in the keyboard and we move the mouse into the left at the same exact moment of time and once we reach the ground we move the wheel up again and then we click on the w button and right here we remove our finger from the w button we click on the d which is the right the d and then we move our mouse into the right and again to the wheel uh, the wheel and then the w it's actually so easy while i'm explaining it it seems hard but i swear to god it's so simple when you're doing it yourself the wheel up the w and then remove your finger from the w press on the a which is the left while moving the mouse into the left while doing it and so and so and the holy shit the video is messed the video is messed even the video got confused by what i was saying even the video was like well, fuck that shit i'm pixelated but it, it's actually pretty simple it's actually pretty simple when you, when you actually follow these steps uh while i'm uh, live it's not really that hard all right let's do this again now it's actually pretty simple i'm gonna try to uh, say it in kind of a sensible easy way all right so let's go okay let's try this one more time so basically right here uh, we move forward and then we wheel up uh, in order for us to jump in the middle of the jump we remove our uh, our finger from the w click on the d which is the right and move the mouse to the right simple right then we reach the ground we reach the ground we click on the w button again and then we click on wheel up to jump again in the middle of the air we remove our uh, our finger from the w click on the a which is the left and move the mouse to the left as simple we reach the ground again we click on w and wheel up simple now in the middle of the air we remove our finger from the w click on d which is the right and 
move the mouse to the right and so and so basically that's all you gotta do in order for you to keep doing it over and over i swear like it might seem a little bit hard while i'm explaining it but just follow the steps and you know that oh it's all about muscle memory that's the thing muscle memory is very powerful in this one you won't even feel it while you're doing it there's actually one very good advantage of bunny hopping and that advantage is if we go to the character brimestone yeah if we go to the character brimestone and yeah now you can join a game and jump all over a place like your freaking rabbit everyone's gonna be like what the hell's wrong with him but yeah it, it's actually kind of a cool experience you know it, it, it kind of refreshes you as counter strike player and that's all i just want to see you guys later bye